Hello. Um, I haven't made a YouTube video in a while, so I thought I'd um do a little something today. I just kind of wanted to talk about um evolution and uh, ask what YouTubers think about it because. I'm always interested in other people's thoughts about things that I kind of take for granted. And um, to me, evolution's one of those things that I really take for granted. I take for granted that it's a fact. And I mean, a lot of people say evolution's a theory, not a fact. But it is a theory and a fact, actually. Um, and don't take that as, as me being cocky. That's just, just my views. So that's just how I feel. And I understand that other people feel differently. I have a very, um, a very strong sense that it's okay for other people to feel differently than me. And, I mean, the things that I see as true, not everyone will see them as true. So keep that in mind when I talk about this, that... If you're disagreeing with me, I know. I know that you disagree, and I want to know about that. I want to know why you disagree, and I want to know how how you feel about the fact that other people might not feel the same as you, even if you feel really strongly about how you feel. So <laughs> that might be a little mo a lot of feeling there, but anyway, um, my view on evolution, um, I guess it's somewhat uneducated because I don't have any formal uh, education in science itself, though I have taken courses in anthropology. Um, the last time I took a, a, an actual science course or biology course was in high school. <laughs> so, um, To me, evolution is very intuitive and it simply just makes sense. It has to happen. Um, and why is that? There are two premises that I base this on. Number one is that mutation exists. And because mutation exists, um, and the fact that mutations, uh, the second premise, that mutations that are beneficial will survive better than mu mutations that are not beneficial, um, those two things together mean that evolution must be true. Now, it's not the only path that evolution can take. Um, it's not the only reason why evolution exists, but it's one example of why it has to exist. So we know that mutations exist because um, things like you keep getting the cold, um, and it's not because there are there were originally a whole bunch of different kinds of colds that were going around. There, well, basically, you could get the same cold twice if it mutated enough that your uh, body's immune system didn't see it as the same cold. Now, that probably actually happens <laughs> every winter. If you get it twice, you might be getting the same cold. Um, it's actually not the same cold anymore because it mutated, but... <laughs> um, it's basically the same thing. Um, and like I said, that uh, this is not necessary for evolution to happen. I know that through science uh, classes, biology classes, you can learn about different kinds of evolution and how much more complicated it, it is. Um, but to me, this is sufficient to prove that evolution must happen. Um, evolution must happen because mutation exists and beneficial mutations will survive better. So I'd like to know what people think about that. Um, argue with me. I want to know why why you think that's not true. Or I mean, you can just agree with me, but that's kind of boring. <laughs> so go ahead and, and please make a comment. Although... I must say that um, if you're going to make some sort of uh, religious basis to your argument, uh, that's not okay. <laughs> um, r arguments that are based on religion hold no weight because they can't be shown in the real world. It's just something that you feel, and that's fine. Um, 
if you really feel strongly that evolution can't exist, despite all the evidence that does exist for it, that um, that God didn't design us that way, <laughs> if you really feel strongly about that, that's fine. But please don't comment here with it. There's really no point because uh, nobody else can argue with you about that. If you just believe that evolution doesn't exist because God said so, um, there's nothing more to say about that. So I would really prefer if you guys would uh, respond with non-religious arguments towards why I must be wrong. <laughs> and no hateful language, please. No, um, no anger. We're all mature. We all know know that uh, other people need respect, even if you don't agree with them. So please keep that in mind, and please make replies. Uh, thanks. Bye bye.